Old man Jackie Chan comes out of retirement so he can kick James Bond's ass. Well, the old James Bond, Pierce Brosnan. Circles around a lot of us. It's ahead of us every step of the way. Open it up. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Well, those prophets that took the leg go, they took the soul. Somebody say a prayer for Yes, I do. Do you? The Foreigner starring Jackie Chan and Pierce Brosnan. If you believe the trailers, what you have here is Jackie Chan's daughter is killed in a terrorist attack and he has to get revenge. And who's the man that he's going to get revenge against? Pierce Brosnan. And this is going to be a revenge action thriller. It's going to be Rambo with Jackie Chan. But the trailer is very misleading. This is the year of misleading trailers. There is almost two completely separate movies in here. There is the revenge action uh, part of the movie where Jackie Chan is trying to get revenge for his daughter, but that is only about a third of the movie. There is a lot of other things going on. I'd almost say this movie is starring Pierce Brosnan featuring Jackie Chan because most of the movie is on Pierce Brosnan and all the political things that are going on. He is the head of the IRA. He's trying to keep power as his position in the government. He's also trying to cover up this terrorist attack. There's all kinds of crazy things going on. And that is my main problem with this movie is there's just too much going on. It's not as simple as the trailer would make you think. The marketing for this was way off. Um, but let me get into what I like first. Jackie Chan is back, like I said, out of retirement. I love Jackie Chan and he's fantastic in this movie. When he does kick ass, which is not a whole lot in this movie, it's amazing. Uh, his, his action scenes are fantastic. You can tell he's older, but he's still got it. It's awesome. His acting in this movie is fantastic. He's very underrated a lot of times with his acting. In this movie, it's very dramatic and uh, very good. There's a lot of emotion in this movie that got me a little teary-eyed, especially towards the beginning when he loses his daughter. Uh, it's, it's very sad, and at first you're thinking, oh my gosh, he's just going to go crazy, kind of Punisher style, but then uh, you start to peel back and figure out why he's doing what, he, what he's doing, and all the parts involving him are amazing. It's awesome. That third of the movie is fantastic, and if they had just stuck with that and made a revenge movie starring Jackie Chan, I probably would have liked this a lot more. It's all the other stuff that I sometimes liked and sometimes didn't. Pierce Brosnan was really good in this role. He's uh, Scottish. He's got a Scottish accent. It sounded fine to me, and uh, some of the political things that were going on between him were very interesting, but sometimes the movie tries to do way too many things and um, throws all these twists and things at you, and it's trying to be a really smart movie, um, and it just it's like a weird mashup of two completely different movies, and it just doesn't work together well, and I can tell that's probably why they marketed it the way they did, because... Um, if they marketed this as what it really is, I don't think they would get as many butts in seats. They had to go with Jackie Chan's back. This is a revenge movie. So I did enjoy it. I didn't love it though. I thought it had a lot of potential, especially at the beginning. Um, it's directed by the same guy who did Casino Royale, who directed Legend of Zorro. So this is a good director here. Some of the things he does as a director is really cool. There's scenes where I was like, oh my gosh, that's freaking amazing. Then other times I'm just, I was just kind of just bored with it. There are a lot of things going on in this movie, like I said, and you know, a third of it really worked for me. A lot of it didn't. So for that reason, it was kind of a disappointment, but overall worth a watch. I'm going to give The Foreigner a three and a half out of five. If you like this video, click that like button. Comment below if you want to talk to me about anything. Uh, click the Rainy Cage button to subscribe and keep up to date with all my videos. And I'll leave you with a few of my most recent videos and some of these sweet, sweet dance moves. This is Rainy Cage. Peace out.